find the surface area, right circular cone topped with a hemisphere. So we have on this one, first off, a half a sphere. Let's, um, let's take that over here and say a half a sphere. So how do we handle a half a sphere on the top? Well, the formula for the surface area. So again, we're, we're imagining painting this object, right? Surface area. We're, we're not filling it up with volume. We're not filling it up with water or air or anything like that. Imagine it's a little toy kind of ice cream cone shaped thing and we're painting the outside. That's what surface area, all the surface. So the half a sphere on the top that is 4 pi r squared is the, is the formula for a whole sphere. So we have to put a half times that because we have a half a sphere on the top. And then, in addition to that, we have the sides. So the sides right here. Um, here let me move this over. So we, we mean like all all these sides, the, all the way around, the whole, you know, the front part, the back part, the whole thing, the sides. So the cone, let's say it that way, how about the, the sides, which is a cone. So how do we handle that? What's the area for that? Well, it is pi r l, add these up, where l is the slant height. So in other words, this is L right here. L is this distance from there to there. That's L. L's the slant height of the cone. So it's not the real height, but it's at a slant. So I gotta find L first off, don't I? How am I gonna find L? You know, right, you can tell right here we have a right triangle. So that means, oops, that means a squared plus b squared is c squared. Which one is the c? Oh, whoops, messed that up. It's the one across from the right angle. So this is the c. So the c is the l squared, and the a squared and the b squared are the other two. So 4 squared plus 12 squared, so that's 16, plus 144 is L squared. That's 160 is L squared. So then we have to finish solving that, root it, root it. So L equals the square root of 160. Now how do we simplify the square root of 160? Well, 160 is going to break down 16 times 10. That's 4 times 4 times 2 times 5. I don't, I'm not going to break it down anymore. I've got two 4s, so that's, that's good right there. So L then will equal the square root of 4 times 4 times 2 times 5. Remember what square roots do, 2 for 1 deal. So 2 4s inside and 1 4 outside, and they're gone. So that's 4 square root of 10, right? Because the 2 and 5 have to stay in, so they just re-multiply to be 10. So L, the slant height, is 4 root 10. So now let's take that slant height up there and use it. So now, putting this problem together, we have, let me bring this over here, we have 1 half times 4 times pi times r. What's the r? From the middle to the edge of the circle, the r right there is the 12. 12 squared plus, and then for the sides, the cone sides, pi r again is 12, times the l, the slant height, for root 10. So I'll put that in there. For root 10, there's, oops. There is the 4 root 10. Okay, so let's figure this out. This part, a half times 4 times 12 squared. It's going to be just 2 times 12 squared. It is 288. So 288 pi 
plus, and then this other part, 12 times 4, that's 48, and then the root 10, and then the pi. And that's exactly how they want us to leave our answer, just like that. because we can't combine those any further because this one has a root and this one doesn't. So they're unlike, we can't add them together when one has a root and one doesn't. We'll just leave it like that. And the units on that, square centimeters on that because we're talking area, which is always square units. So there we go.